is a raised and cushioned platform where you spend several hours every day unconscious and hallucinating. <laughs> Usually while the majority of other people on the continent are also doing the same thing. That was the most alien way to explain beds and sleeping I've ever heard. <laughs> Even in a, in a, a webcomic about aliens. Well, not about aliens, but... This is where you keep your clothes. You consider your fashion statement to be fun and comfortable. And try to model, model yourself on Clarissa. Aww. Ah, Clarissa, she really does explain quite a few things. <laughs> Except, of course, precisely where she's, she gets her clothes and how she manages to look so great all the time. <laughs> Can I change? You could try on some new clothes, but what's a style montage without at least one party offering compulsory reaction? Party offering compulsory reaction shots for each outfit. Who's going to give you an affirming no head nod when you finally nail it? Oh. There are important things to consider before you carelessly plunge headlong into a style montage. But I can nope. eventually, right? Don't look on the very obvious thing you're supposed to look on. Don't do okay. it! We're exploring the road! Damn. Yeah. One day you hope to be a veterinarian. Then you can be the one caring for fuzzy-faced baby critters. So when someone catches you, snuggling them all and tells you to take a hike. You can flash your vet badge and say you're here on professional medical business. Then they'll have to take the hike, not you. They'll have to take the hike. The modem always makes a mighty racket logging you on. Probably not worth riling up any hallway snakes to surf your sights right now. It's not like there's much new to see anyway. You're sure that Jude would have let you know if anyone in your web ring had updated their sites. Yeah, guys. You haven't been updating your sites. Snapchat. Anyone remember that? Rip Paradox Space. Rip. Just trying to see everything clickable. I guess I'm gonna look up here. Oh, my Ooh. oh look at Twink over here. Had to focus on Twink because he's so iconic. You examine the ceiling in more detail as one does. It is covered by a mural with your, that your mom painted for you when you were very young. Later, you added the stars yourself. You were quite pleased with the results of the long-term mother-daughter collaboration. In the dark plastic stars provide a not unconvincing illusion of space for at least a few minutes after after you turn off your lights. Your brother once said they're not accurate, but he said they are. They're just not from the point of view of Earth. And that shut him up pretty quick. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh man, wouldn't it be great? Wouldn't it be great if we found out later that that was true? I mean. are making a big comeback lately. It beats sitting on the floor, and that's all you can really ask of a beanbag. What about him, though? This is Sir Bappy Pawswater. Pawswater? Pawswater. Okay. Your beloved Manthro chap. There it is, Manthro man -throw chap. chap. Could not remember. An anthro man and then gentleman. You tend, you tend to his fussy whims and needs when you trouble to imagine what they might be. What a daring dream to combine the finest qualities of the animal kingdom with the nobility of humanimals. <laughs> Wait, you mean humanity. <laughs> anyway, Sir Bappy Pawswater will have to tend to his own fussy whims and needs for a while. You've got a lot of crap on your plate right now.
Obviously, we need to play the Super. A prodigious collection of titles for your console's hungry, cartridge-shaped mouth. All the best ones are here. Well, all the ones you happen to own are here. You could spend all day listening to them. There's Bubsy, there's... Mentioning Bubsy make you feel a little queasy, so you think you'll stop there. You might go lie down for a bit, actually. <laughs> at heart, but you can't help but enjoy the tactile sensation of a controller in your hand as you fight evil and save animals and etc. Lots of etc. <laughs> oh, and that's more than, than enough of that. <laughs> more than she, I don't think she wants to play Bubsy. You just saved before fighting the final boss, which means you'll need to budget several hours to fight through its various forms and anti-forms and transformations, and look, you've got a lot on your plate right now. This game is only available in Japan, but there's this kid at school who says his uncle works at a games, a games company, a games company, and he says, and he says gets to play all sorts of secret games before they even come out here. He runs off at the mouth like he has all this insider information and sources inside the game companies. But honestly, you think he's just desperate for attention. We did all have that friend, didn't we? I had that friend. We tend to ignore him and focus on more pleasant things, like the super cool poster of Second Mom Rules. Mm, was so full of shit. What could possibly go wrong? That's what Bubsy would say if he were here. He'd never stop saying it. You'd hear it in your head forever, echoing like screams echo across still water. <laughs> you love you love block hustle, the game of descending columns that disappear as lines are filled, but uh you could only find a poster of the American box art. <laughs> and then we got what a message. Is that? That's like a cross between Mega Man and Tetris? I don't know, the I can't American box it. art. Ginger Rogers. Gosh, she's really something. The greatest tap dancer who ever clattered gracefully across the screen. Probably. No, wait, definitely. And still kicking. The bounty hunters. Advice for dealing with monsters would probably be to shoot them or change your shape. Or both at once. She's cool, but pretty difficult to emulate. Yeah, that's Samus. It's definitely... Yeah, like, it's Metroid. Magical Animal Companion Heal Rescue is your favorite Japanimation. It's about this girl, Shika, who goes to school sometimes and has a regular life. Boring, yeah. But whenever... Win Winver? 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 Whenever a magical animal has been hurt, Chica becomes Princess Chica and rides her dear companion to go heal them. Her dear companion? Okay. Dear companion. Look That's... around you. <laughs> there are many things to see that some would say could never be. Shut the phone up. Yes, that does sound like David the Gnome if it was an anime. David the Gnome anime. I got it. That's the whole thing. It's great. No fighting, just healing. You'd love it. Oh, an off-healing game. Wasn't there one of those recently? Um, I don't know. I thought I remember seeing something like that on your screen. Oh, yeah, yeah. I forget what it's called, though. Princess something. That? <laughs> Sounds like that. Acorn Shadow is surprisingly dark for a show about a group of horse friends. It canters down oh, canters no. down some troubling psychological prose. The story keeps happening. Just look at that childlike empress. She sure looks pretty pleased with herself for someone who's only in the movie for about five minutes. <laughs> Hot Steppin'. You don't really perform the styles of dance that make this movie such a pulse-pounding barn burner of a smash hit, but you'd certainly like to, someday. 
yeah, like, I don't know, everybody loved Dirty Dancing back then, so I'm not surprised she has it. Canadian Campfire Spookums <laughs> is the best. It's about these kids who get together in the woods every week, and one of them throws some dust in a fire, and then they tell a scary story, and that scary story is the episode. <laughs> That's exactly... <laughs> Are you afraid of the dark? You guess you kind of focused more on the framing narrative than you did on the stories, but whatever. It's the best, just like you said. Time to be crushed. Oh my gosh, look at that baby! I'm gonna cry. That little girl there, she's destined for big things, big hopes, big fears, big worries, big lonelinesses. Oh. <laughs> now hold on, pull yourself together. What would your mom say if she knew you were thinking like that? I really wish you knew. she's been gone, you've seen less and less of Pa over the years. I guess he had greener pastures to move on to, or bluer beauties. What? No! That's sad. That's really sad. What? I demand an explanation. I don't have one. I just happened to be looking at you when I said that. You usually don't have much to record in here on account of the humdrum life you lead. But you think you thinks today would be a different story. You think that's also an error? Or... No. no. That's like me me thinks. You think, it's like okay. a ye olde term. I say a lot, actually. Maybe you should take a moment to record a note now, just in case this is your last chance to set down your before your tragic demise at the hands of a horrible snaky thing. It's locked. If you wish to gain access to your long, long buried or recently buried secrets, they'll have to use the diary key. Pens. I don't think it is. Ow. I have to find the diary key. This game is to get four of your colored circles in a row before your opponent, who's trying to do the same. You can also theoretically connect five if you're that kind of showy jerk. <laughs> you really like this poster, but can't really say why. It's pretty, and you like the expression on the ballerina's face. You wonder if this is what it's like when adults go to museums to look at actual art. You hope so. Appreciate it. You give it a good, hard stare. Yeah, you're appreciating the heck out of this art. It would be difficult, if not impossible, for anyone to appreciate it more. Wait, look at the stickers? get a charge out of this game. It's kind of bossy, though. Charge. It probably has something to do with the ad. Challenge. Well, sure, why not? After this, though, you really should go get that walkie-talkie, since you just remembered you cannibalized the batteries from the walkie to power this game. Okay, that's enough yelling. 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 Three L's! A lot of typos. Yeah, in the first room, got a lot of typos. <laughs> oh, looks like the green button isn't working. Oh, well, nostalgia satisfied. Might as well scavenge the battery. Oh yeah, my inventory. No, that's your inventory. Okay, so it wasn't my Um, I didn't actually mess around in here. We oughta. 
Um, this, I was thinking about it. The striped specimen is a kind of green, but this is like her tealish color. So it's okay. more her fetch lotus color, I suppose. No, no, don't close it yet. We have to mess around in here. I, there's nothing that I can click on. Well, take the shoes. And then click them on the floor or something. So you can just shake it out. Damn it. Alright, and then what are the two icons? So. They enable you to tap dance. Your tap dancing lessons also deserve a little credit. <laughs> they also enable you to tap dance. Hmm. Okay, and then what do... Hmm. What do your... those... What is that menu there? Yeah. Okay. And then what is the question mark? Uh, return first, I guess. I think um, function is currently disabled. It won't, it won't any good to you to try to use it for now. It, it won't, won't any good. good. <laughs> it won't any good. We, okay, so they had like you know five years to beta test and like get everything together on this game, but then they needed proofreaders. Yeah, <laughs> the game works but you need some proofreading, so I'm assuming that they're gonna make some patches and just fix those. Right. That should be and that's why fix. we're here! To say, it won't any good. It won't. I'm gonna emphasize every, like, yeah. error that way it. if anyone does It's our sworn this. sacred duty now. <laughs> our duty! But how? I think I might actually start using that, too, like, your winner. It won't any good. Whoa, 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 I click on the tap shoes and I clicked up here. Bounty Hunter would be pretty excellent at any style that featured a turn into a ball in midair maneuver. And what style wouldn't uh, benefit from such a maneuver? Why? None of them. Oh no, does everything do something different if we... Oh no. They here, did here, say here that was a thing. You had a routine inspired by this movie. But it was just way too long. You guess you could say it felt always not stopping. Oh my god. It is. I, oh okay. no, everything I can click on, I can click. Okay, okay, it, what do I want to know? It the perspective of kicking and tap dancing and oh my god. Here we go, second mom. This game apparently has really cool music. By searching online, you were able to briefly hear a few seconds of it. The download only took you a few hours. Wow. Living in the future sure is amazing. Oh, music. And yeah, like, just music. How about dancing all over Bugsy? It tends to make your game freeze. Alas, the only downside of cartridge-based gaming. <laughs> when you're dancing, oh no. That's gotta be really... Well, then if... Dirty dancing. Or hot stepping. Uh, no. That's not tap dance. Tap dance is great and fun, but it's like doing your taxes at church compared to what's going on... On that poster. On on that poster. Yeah, what's I mean that's on right. On that poster. Well, you could have said in. What's going on in that poster? What's going on on that poster. I mean, it's technically right. Yeah, but... that one's not like a typo or anything. A lot of places would tell you not to go. Hmm. Oh jeez. But I have the batteries. Yeah. Look out the window. Oh yeah, I didn't look. They're over here. Guess it doesn't matter. Poor puppy. Does that icky snaky thing hurt her? Well, mm -hmm. you'd use your you'd use your budding veterinary skills to patch her up and make it all better, but you'd also be very angry. Right now, she doesn't seem to want to come out of her doghouse. You don't blame her. Aww. Just look at this, like. nice if those monsters were as weirded out by that weird skull fountain as you are. Unfortunately, that thing is probably monster chic. <laughs> yeah, they're like, definitely awesome. Damn it. Remember 
remember when you were raking up those leaves, your dog knocked you over, and you left, and then everything turned to monsters? Ah, memories. Wow, look at the sky. That's Whoa, beautiful. Okay. Oh, That's what I want it to look like with my housing item. <laughs> That'd be nice. The sun has just set, making for a glorious autumn eve. Uh, as such, autumn, autumnal evening, or yeah, evening glory radiates from the heavens, kissing the clouds on its way down to earth. Well, that's beautiful. Stupid clouds, all untouchable and ephemeral and stuff. <laughs> Gentrification is a real monster. Gentrification. I have a pretty big vocabulary. Not that big. Blistering social commentary aside, we sincerely hope you and your brother are killed and eaten by these eyeless horrors. Define gentrification. Process. Oh, like gent gentrification. It's like beautifying it according to Honda. Mm. Uh, the process of making a person or activity more refined or polite. So, I like, see. What was that? What was, is it Hello Dolly? I like that movie. It's everyone has Dr. Doolittle in it. Looks like Jude scurried up his treehouse to get away from that thing. Unsurprisingly. He acts like it's his mission control room up there. As if a goofy kid legitimately has any secret business of that sort. Courageous. I'm dream. You're not allowed up there, he says. To which you reply, you'd rather step on a rake than set foot in his rickety little nerd hut. You school him so often, you really should be pulling in the teacher's salary. <laughs> you briefly muse on the metaphorical significance of the flashing light. But it represents the past, the future, America. It's your stupid brother. You need to get in touch with him. But it's Daisy. It's obviously Daisy. Hmm. Yes. It's the unreachable, the unobtainable. It's your dream. But the closer you get to it, the less mysterious it becomes. Okay, now I can. I clicked on everything. I think so. Not with the shoes. <laughs> no, I haven't. Your walkie-talkie, half of the half of the set. Your brother has the other one. Could come in handy. Get. One walkie-talkie. Battery's missing, as expected. Computer back up. We're wasting electricity. Oh, I think I accidentally tried to put it on it. You can't just plug this thing into that thing without using some absurd cable that would be a nightmare to locate, assuming it even exists. Maybe in some other universe. Computers can interface with local devices and make you sound like a suave robot, but around here you make do with what you got. Thank you.